what's going on y'all welcome to me cranium you know what's coming you know what's coming barbecue meal review today i'm gonna do a turkey the way i did a chicken about a month ago i did it on the bed of herbs i'm going to spatchcock and i'm gonna put it onto oklahoma joe bronco today is uh easter and easter for every christian is like our super bowl if you're a, a muslim or you're a hindu or you're a buddhist or you believe in vegetables like the like the vegans and or you're even an atheist or an agnostic i don't care i'm a christian and today is every christian super bowl so let's, I'm gonna get the camera down. I'm gonna get this thing prepped up. I'm gonna show y'all how to spatchcock a turkey. This is a 19 pound turkey. I'll be using some pecan wood I have, and that's about it. I'll be putting some herbs on there, and this is gonna be delicious. Let's get started. Okay, so right here is the herbs I'm gonna be using. I already washed them off and I just laid the empty trays on top so, uh, so that you guys can see what it is. So I've got some cilantro, some sage, some basil, some rosemary, and some parsley. It's extremely windy out here, so I'm gonna to toss these over to the side. So there you go, fresh herbs right there. I'm gonna cut up an orange and put that on top of the herbs as well, lay the turkey on top of here. And I'm gonna be seasoning it with my favorite, which is It's Incredible. In fact, we like it so much, we have a his and my wife has a hers. We like it so much. So there you go, his and hers. Turkey, let's get started. Okay, with the turkey, you wanna make sure it's uh, it's nice and dry. I've already rinsed this turkey off. Now it's time to get it trimmed up. So this is a custom cutting board right here with some nice uh, deep channels right here. And they also make them custom. So I got, they actually uh, made me one with uh, the Meat Cranium Barbecue and Review uh, logo on there. And yes, I did get this for free. They did send me out this to, uh, to check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut this uh, neck skin off. Kinda come over here, this backbone right here. I like to go ahead and squish it down. Kinda squish these joints down. Like that, here, here pop, like that. There you go. There you go, just like that. Makes it easier when doing this. Got this big piece of fat right here, there we go. And now it's time to cut the backbone out. It's really good if you have a nice sharp knife like I do. Look at that, bam. There you go, just like that. Turn this around and put a cut right here. There you go. Pretty simple, that took what, a minute? All right, there we go. Spatchcock turkey, just like that. Bam, now I've had this dry again. Make sure the skin's nice and dry, y'all. Nice and dry. I am gonna be washing my hands, so don't be uh, don't be getting on to me. My hands are going to be cleaned after all this. And I'm gonna clean all my surface. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Then we'll get everything else on here. All right. So as my buddy Cookie O'Cory says, I now have impeccably clean hands. Now I'm gonna spray the outside with some uh, butter spray. You can spray whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. I'm just I got a lot of this stuff in the pantry. So I'm gonna have one clean hand, I'm gonna have one dirty hand. This is gonna be touching the actual turkey. All right, there we go. It's incredible. And trust me, this stuff was named the right name. This is absolutely incredible. Kind of first time I'm doing this with a turkey inside of the uh, the Bronco. All right, so I have the uh, the herbs here. Just gonna kind of mix these up. Get these all nice and mixed up here. The turkey is gonna be a little bit too big for this, but that's all right. Spray these kind of all out like that. Put it to the side. The orange. 
Find a little bit of room here, cut the orange. All right, so right now the pit is running right around 313. I'm on about 325, so I'm gonna move this down to about a two and a half right here. Keep around the temperatures of that I want to keep it, about 325, about 325, 350. I'm gonna keep it there. If it starts raising up, I'll just adjust from here, make some incremental adjustments, but it should hold temp very easily. All right, let's get the turkey on. Ooh, that looks nice. Here we go. All right, gonna cook that until it gets to a temperature of 170. I know it's 165, but I don't play around with poultry. Bring my turkeys up to about 170, and it's just fine to go to 170. All right, so it's been approximately one hour. Right now, the internal temp is at one is at 379. Here's what the temps have been doing. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Heck, I can't even see it. Yeah, right there. You see the little line going. So that's what the kind of what the temperature's been doing right now, and uh, the internal temp of the turkey is at 84 and 82 inside the breast i'm gonna go ahead and just hit up some more pam real quick so looking like so far oh yeah that looks nice try to get a nice color to it <clears throat> beautiful all right keep on going okay so it's been two hours the internal temp right now the pit's running at 286 and the internal of the turkeys at 124 and 126 i'm making this quick because i'm doing stuff inside the color turkey is right where i want it to be so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tent it so that it gets no more color on there if you look down here at the thigh it's already starting to break apart yeah, right there oh ooh, yeah so now i'll put some foil on here I'm gonna keep it tented until uh, it's done all right, this is my personal message to the Charbroil Company. Look, I love the Bronco. I know you guys have a Bronco Pro. How about y'all send me one? Send me a Bronco Pro. Hashtag send meat cranium a Bronco Pro. Hold on, that might be a little bit too long. Hashtag send a pro. I don't know. I'll make some kind of, I'll make something up. But look charboil i love this thing i can imagine how much better a pro will be wink wink so how about y'all send me one send me out a pro i like to do a, a comparison I like to do a review i like to cook on one in fact you guys can have my titan if you want it i don't want it just want to give that message out to the charboil company i want a pro okay so let's get a little more of this uh this this cut board here uh here it is logo is right here right, yeah right here uh so they do custom cutting boards uh haley home haley home they do custom cutting boards uh the company is an american company they are based out of new york i'm gonna put a link down in the description to, and you can uh order your own custom cutting board and i think there's a, a a discount associated with it like i can't i don't remember what the percentage is but they'll give you a discount just for being a subscriber to me so yeah go check out haley home cutting board let's get back to the cook it's almost done i think the internal right now is hit 165 in the breast and uh 162 so i'm gonna let it go to 170 and i'm gonna pull it this is right at the end so uh, i'm really excited about it it's 2.30, it has been three and a half hours. The turkey's done. One, one breast is reading 165, the other one's reading 169. The carryover is gonna get me to the 170s plus. Uh, pit is 284. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and let it rest. Gonna get this bad boy uncovered. May look a little dark, that is not burnt. <laughs> That's not burnt, this is good. In about five minutes. Look at that. I don't know if y'all seen that. Prove this thing is not burnt. Look at this. If I just cut into it, see all that juices? That is perfect. Okay. Take this out. Look at that. Can't tell me that's burnt. That is beautiful. That's super moist. Look at that, look at all the juice in there. Oh yeah, that's exactly what you want to see, clear. Clear juices, nice. See it running down right there? There you go. 
Okay, like with brisket, sometimes brisket will be dark on the outside, but the inside is perfect. Same thing with turkey, this is smoked turkey. So therefore the outside is gonna be a little dark. Um, that's why I covered it, I tinted it, it would've been even darker. But trust me, it's not burnt, all right? See, the steam's still coming off that. All right. Hmm. I'll take turkey like that any day of the week. Thanks for joining me on this uh, turkey journey. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao.